name is Mo Beck. I'm a professional-ish rock climber, and today we're gonna be making old school mac and cheese from scratch. So my fridge these days is pretty bare, but we always have the important stuff. Chocolate syrup, beer, butter. What I usually actually live out of is my scotch cabinet. So we have everything we need here for this mac and cheese. I like to do a mix of extra sharp, mild, and pepper jack. Two sticks of butter, a pound of pasta, salt, pepper, heavy cream, milk, cayenne pepper, and garlic powder. It is important to keep an eye on this. You want it pretty firm because you're gonna bake it in the oven after. You wanna capture me shredding my stump in this thing. So I just use the cheapest cheese I can get because there's a lot of it and even cheap cheese tastes delicious. Yeah, I actually don't cook most of the meals. Um, my husband does. Okay, might have found the max capacity for my shredder. One more piece for puppy. Oh, ho, 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 you missed. We're gonna start making the base of the sauce. And so we're gonna do low heat. And it's really tempting to crank the heat up on this. If you go too hot too fast, you're gonna get the milk and butter all gross. So slow and steady wins this race. You have to keep the shredded cheese real close so you can snack on it while you wait. So while that butter is melting, we're gonna add a half cup flour, half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon black pepper, quarter teaspoon cayenne, but I guess you can go crazy, and quarter teaspoon powdered garlic. Oh, the dog's in. Set <laughs> punks. So noodles are nice and firm. We're gonna dump them over here and then just forget about them for a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna finish making our roux. Making a roux gives the sauce a nice base, and so that's what kind of makes it rich and creamy. Two cups, half and half, or heavy cream. Like two cups of just regular milk. We're gonna let this kind of cook down until it gets nice and thick. I think another part of growing up in New England was you have to eat stuff like this that's just high calorie fatty, because the winters are so long and so cold, and if you just had kale all winter, you would die. We're gonna start slowly adding our cheese. Let it melt, keep stirring it. I actually sound like I know what I'm talking about. I think that's just how much mac and cheese I make. I probably go through like 50 or 60 boxes a year, is my guess. Find it by 16. That's dry weight, 22 pounds of mac and cheese. <laughs> so now this is the sauce. Oh, look at how good it is. You can see the pepper jack in there. This is why I add the pepper jack. I think the pepper jack adds nice texture. So I like to do half of the pasta, and then I'm gonna add half the sauce, and then put the other half on, and then pour the rest of the sauce on. I heard, I wish you could smell this right now, people in internet land. Can't forget about this for a hot minute. We're gonna take our second stick of butter. We're gonna make our breadcrumb topping. Okay, so now you have that butter melted, we're gonna add breadcrumbs. If I hadn't done the pepper jack, I'd probably use Italian breadcrumbs for some seasoning. You know, when you're climbing all day, I'm of the general opinion, you don't really have to watch what you eat. You just need fuel. It can be mac and cheese, it can be salad. You're just taking the time to make your food and appreciate it. We're actually gonna brown this in the pan right now and then put this on top of the mac and cheese and it's gonna give us a nice, crispy, buttery crust. Now this bad boy goes into the oven and you'll know it's done when the sides, the top gets really browned and you'll see the sides kind of boil and bubble. So we'll set the timer for 20 minutes and check back then. Oh yeah. So you get the nice brown on the edge. Nice thick bubbles, not runny bubbles. So we're actually gonna let this set for a little bit because right now the cheese is liquid and then it is easy time. So I mentioned earlier about pairing your mac and cheese with the perfect scotch. I prefer a smokier, richer scotch. I think it plays off of the pepper jack nicely. Uh, so today we're gonna do an Ardbeg tenure. The point of homemade mac and cheese is to warm it from the inside out, and this just kinda adds nicely to that. If you wanna get real fancy, actually yeah, give me two seconds, I'm gonna get real fancy. Cheers. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna poop for a week, it's awesome.